Extreme heat is leading to an uptick in hospitalizations. One ER doctor at Christus says they are dealing with a lot of patients coming in with heat related illness symptoms. Film news reporter Gloria Walker has the signs we should all watch for. Gloria. That's right, Jordan. Health officials say that there has been a noticeable increase in heat related illnesses from last year to this year. And they say you need to be on the lookout for a number of signs that could point to a heat related emergency. With hot temperatures hanging tough, people are finding themselves more susceptible to heat related illnesses. Heat cramps, uh, heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Heat stroke being the worst. Medical staff at Krista St. Elizabeth have noticed an uptick in number of patients coming in. From August of last year, 11 intakes compared to 19 this year with symptoms that resemble heat stroke. Emergency room Dr. Levon Vartanian says if you feel sick, get medical attention quickly. Here are some signs you need to be on the lookout for. What you want to watch out for is like symptoms of like nausea, uh, maybe I got a headache, uh, feel weak. If those symptoms occur, then you need to drink, you know, plenty of fluids, get out of the heat environment, cool down and rest. But what happens when you're stuck outside with nowhere to go? Mayor Roy West says the city of Beaumont has options for people. Henry's Place and Salvation Army are open during the day, acting as cooling stations. They've got plenty of room, bed space, and they don't charge for anybody to sleep there. But it is unbearably hot. During the winter freeze, the city of Beaumont used buses as warming stations. I asked Mayor Roy West if the same concept could be applied. Time when it was unbearably cold during our freezes, we had those warming buses. That's right. Um, on the opposite side of the spectrum, um, would the, we ever think it, about cooling? I think that is a possibility, and that may be something that we're looking at, at doing. And uh, and so, as as I get more information on that, we'll certainly be relaying it. Now, city and hospital staff encourage you to keep an eye out for your vulnerable neighbors, including elderly people during these hot temperatures, so you can prevent any life-altering injuries. In Studio Glory Walker, 12 News.